little friends. <clears throat> I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, so today is going to be just kind of, I don't know, playing around with some new makeup that I picked up at Walmart. So the first thing I picked up was the brow or the wow brow by e.l.f. And so it's a, a volumizing fiber gel. I've never used any brow products by e.l.f. ever. And then I picked up this brow pencil by Wet n Wild. It's called the Micro Brow Pencil. It looks like this. <clears throat> then I picked up, oh, and the colors of these I picked up are, oh, this one doesn't have, oh, neutral brown. Oh, great. Well, maybe it won't be too bad. And then this one is deep brown. <laughs> All right, then the next thing was LA Color came out with, I'm assuming these are new because I've never seen them before, lashes. And I really liked these. They have uh, the invisible band, invisible band from what I can tell. It's not that big thick black band, which I don't like. I feel like it's really hard to apply those. Um, and then I picked up two palettes. I picked up one by e.l.f., which is the new classics. And then I picked up this one, which I've always had my eye on this. Like I, I like was going back and forth for a long time. Only there or not, I should get this, which is the Nudes of New York. And um, I just, I don't know. I just kept thinking, oh yeah, I'm gonna get it. And I put it in my cart and then I'd be like, no, I don't need it. I was really looking at it though. And I was like, this is so pretty. I love how it has like so many of these kind of shimmers. These are the kind of shimmers that I really, really like. They are so pretty um, and it has so many like that. I mean, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the rest are mattes. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. And then I love the tones of the neutrals that are in this. I love that they've got kind of like this, it's like almost a pinky, I don't know. This one here, it's like a purple, pinkish, lilacish. I don't know, it's so pretty though. So I think out of the two, I think I've decided that that's the one I wanna use. So we're gonna go in with uh, Originator, <laughs> which is like the least original shade in this palette. And we're going to put this no, actually, no, that's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna save that for a minute. We're gonna go into Explorer, which is this color here. And we're gonna put this all over the lid. So the first thing I'm noticing is they're very, very uh, messy. So that's great because I'm wearing white. Um, here in Utah, it is so cold. Yesterday it was like 50 something. I'm like, is it? Okay, so I'm getting a lot of skipping. Um, I don't know if that's for my brush or, or what's going on, but that's not typical for my lids to get like all the skipping. Um, but yeah, it was just like freaking freezing yesterday. Today it's only a high of 69, I think, which is okay. I, I like that because it's warm enough where you can still do stuff, but not so warm where you're gonna be sweating. Ooh, I like that. And I, I haven't done a look in a really long time where I'm using the dark color all over my lid. And so I wanted to really, really into trying that. I saw Michelle Wong do a look like this type of uh, positioning of her uh, eyeshadows uh, with the Natasha did no, not Natasha did no, Charlotte Tilbury new palette, that new palette she came out with, a desert, is it desert dusk or some crap. Um, she went all over her lid with the dark color in that palette and it looked so pretty. 
and I was like, oh, I'm gonna try that. I think her and I are pretty much the same skin tone. I don't know why. Maybe this might not come off like this uh, when I upload it, but I don't know if it's my lights or if it's, I don't know, but it looks like the camera looks really dark to me. Um, and so, yeah, looks strange. But yeah, so I, Hmm. Can you see that? There's like a line there. What the hell's going on? It's like not sticking. Okay, there we go. And then more skipping in the front. I hate that. You can see right there. Skipping. Crap. And I just went in with a clean brush to just kind of First of all, fix that skipping. Um, and second of all, to blend this out and to really just kind of smooth it out. Okay, so this is kind of what we've got going on so far. I always say that. And then I'm going into my inner corners with Originator, that color I showed you in the beginning which I don't really know how I feel about that color. So I'm gonna go back over it with, with uh, Explorer. But I really like this uh, all over lid color, like doing that look instead of just on the outer corner and then the lighter inner third or inner half, whatever. I'm liking this a lot. I am gonna add some more colors um, just to kind of give this some depth. There's the color Self Starter. I don't know, let's see. Uh, I think it's called Globe Trotter. <clears throat> Probably this one, because this one looks like it would match. Oh my gosh, I didn't even pick it up that they would go together pretty well. So the one I have on is the lighter of the two of the ones I just showed you, which I don't know why it's not showing because it showed up on my lids. Okay, so I've got just a tiny bit and I am gonna go again over the entire lid, but I'm not gonna take it up as high as I did um, with Explorer. Oh, I like that. Okay. All right, I feel like I should have just left it alone. That um, Explorer colors was just so pretty. Just left this like light chocolatey look on my lid. It's so pretty, but I just, I liked how it looked before. I'm trying to go over it again with the Explorer color just to lighten this up. It doesn't seem to be working very well because it still looks really dark. Okay, now I'm going in with a clean brush hand to the end and just going to Smoke this out. All right, this is what we've got. I like this palette, it is so pretty. I know that this looks really dark, but you'll have to see it done. Okay, that's all we're doing to this. Oh, except for I wanna take a color onto my brow bone and that color is going to be um, Artist, which is this really light color here. It's a matte. I want that one on my brow bone. So it's not really matte. There's kind of like a slight sheen to this. 
No, it is. It's not. Okay. Now, on the lower lash line, we're going to go in with Explorer. just for that grungy look because you guys know that's what I've been really feeling lately is that grungy look okay eyes are done I know I look crazy but now we're going to do brow is do you see how little that is oh my gosh we're really, okay yeah it's tiny it's kind of blurry but I like how it's so small it's gonna help create like brow hairs which I don't do that very much like I just do that in that in the front of my brow I just go like this but if you've been watching me for a while you guys know that already um so it's not it's nice I like this it's creamy but it's not too creamy kind of like the Anastasia one I can feel tugging though like it's not gliding across my brow it's kind of tugging a little bit so that leads me to believe it's it's like waxy so there's some waxiness in here which is a good thing because what will end up happening is if I wow that's a crazy brow look um is it'll hold my brows in place that waxiness this is dark Yeah, I can feel it even when I'm coming through it. Um, there's a lot of resistance with my brush. Okay, so that's the brows. And I'm gonna go ahead and comb through them really quick with a, another spoolie of these. So I do like the waxiness because it is gonna hold my brows in place. I can already feel that from the tug of what I'm getting when I pull. Okay guys, um, I'll be right back. <clears throat> Things look a little different because so I had to drive my daughter to school we get this look finished. So last part that was on with my brows. So now we're going to put on the brow brow. This, um, let's see what it looks like. So it's supposed to, so I see little fibers. It's, um, it looks like the color would be okay. It's a little taupey. I just don't want it to make my eyebrows look uh, foggy. But that'd be pretty cool if it made them look thicker. Have you guys tried this? What do you guys think about it? I like that. It's not too uh, wet to where it's gonna leave your um, too much pigment in your eyebrows. I actually really, really enjoy this way better than the Hourglass one. The Hourglass one and the Anastasia Beverly Hills one are so wet. They leave way too much uh, product in your brows. And then you end up looking crazy and you're trying to take it away and it's just like, it's a pain in the butt. Nice, I like it. Okay. That's thumbs up for me. I like the pencil. And it worked really well. Um, I like the grip to it, the waxiness to it. And um, the News of New York definitely liked that. And now I'm going to do my mascara and uh, I will be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. So these are the lashes. The thing I'm noticing is that there's not a difference from shortest to longest as to which eye goes where. So 
They're like the same length all the way across. So I'm gonna apply them as if they were this way. So this one on this side, and this one on this side. Not that that seems to make a difference, but we'll see. but I like them. I think that they look nice. They're really curly. You can see they pretty much go up to my eyebrow. But I like them. Not definitely not an everyday eyelash, but they're really pretty. Um, I did have to trim them just a tad, which I don't usually have to trim my lashes because my eyes are long enough. To work with most lashes they don't feel like super cheap um, I will say though even though I trimmed the corners this one is like poking my inner inner corner a little bit hmm I don't know are they too much Feel nice and fluffy too. They're like not stiff. They're very soft. Very uh, like the foam ink. Very soft like that. I feel like my daughter. She really likes these really really thick, full. Other other than that, she just she just likes really longer lashes than this. But she likes the really really full ones. I really like these. I think I need to put my mascara more mascara on the bottom though because I think it looks kind of like uneven. All right guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys like the lashes. Everything here was under, yeah. under at least 12 bucks. The lashes were $3.99. This was like 11. Um, I think this was probably the most expensive, which was like 14. And you know, all the stuff in one while, this was like $3. Um, the brow pencil was like maybe, maybe three. I actually think it was closer to probably a dollar. Um, my foundation was inexpensive. I used the uh, Matte and Poreless. And the only thing, probably most expensive part of the, my makeup is my lip balm because it was my uh, summer Fridays. So, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys have a wonderful week or a wonderful day, an amazing week, and a marvelous month. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Let me know what you guys think of the lashes. They're a little too much, too crazy. <laughs>